Now there are many cases we see where if a patient has early signs of thyroid eye disease and they have the thyroid gland treated, they will often improve. Uh, in those patients who don't improve, they may be helped with uh, drops and, and topical medications and they may never be destined to have severe disease. So we treat them and it's very difficult to know whether it's our treatment or the natural progression of the disease, which in certain individuals is going to be fairly self-limited. Well, it does vary with each patient. The, the natural history of thyroid eye disease is that it gets uh, worse for a period of, of a few months then it's, it plateaus for a period which may be a year, 18 months or sometimes even longer and then it tends to burn itself out. The aim of treating patients with thyroid eye disease is one, to stop them getting worse, so when they have what we call active disease which is relatively early on in their disease process, so they could be getting worse, so one thing is to try and stop them getting worse and the other aim of the uh, treatment is to make them better. But often when it has burnt out, then the, uh, some surgical treatment is required at the end of the day, either in terms of putting the eyes back a little bit further, um, adjusting the eye muscles to stop double vision, or dealing with uh, lid problems. The other treatment option is also radiotherapy, which is a form of x-ray treatment uh, that is given, and that's used, if you like, as an alternative to steroids or as a uh, adjunctive to, to steroids. And then with severe disease, uh, we tend to use intravenous steroids or and surgery in the form of orbital decompression surgery. We have the, the ability at Moorfields to deal with all the different elements of thyroid eye disease, including the medical management of the condition, uh, the surgical management to uh, decompress an orbit, uh, and I individual uh, problems such as the management of the squint uh, and the management of the cosmetic disadvantage of suffering from thyroid eye disease, all of which would fall under slightly different consultants. And it is this ability to bring together this uh, group of separate specialists that gives uh, Morfields the uh, chance to be preeminent in the management of thyroid eye disease. So, as well as possibly treating the thyroid itself, there are three main ways to treat thyroid eye disease. The use of drops, tablets and intravenous drips, which is called medical management, radiotherapy and surgery. <laughs>